Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are, I guess, kind of finishing the trailer. Not really, it's kind of finishing phase one. And let me get away from that fan. So I just did the interior. I just finished up the interior of phase one. So if we take a look, it looks good. This vent is done. Trim rings are done. The roof is finally done. It all just looks pretty good. Um, but this is only phase one. I do have to finish these little pieces here, which that's phase two. Because phase two requires building a shelf up there um, for the front. And then phase two and or maybe three is going to be the kitchen area back here. We're gonna get to that eventually. But for now, we're moving on to the exterior. So we're gonna put the this exterior angle iron for our trim here. So we're gonna peel the trailer. We're finally gonna get rid of all this plastic. It's gonna be pretty satisfying. So let's get right to it. being pretty difficult to access at the moment. We're gonna leave that on and we're gonna start on the trim. So let me show you the plan for this angle here because I like to think I'm pretty smart. So this is a 45 degree angle. Um, the thing is that 45 degree angle iron, aluminum, whatever, is ridiculously expensive. I think estimating it out just per piece, it was like $90 and I'm not doing that. So I found this roll of rubber foam adhesive tape that I'm going to run along this and caulk it and smudge it down. And hopefully that will keep it uh, tight. And then I'm gonna run it down to the seams and have my angle cover it. So we're gonna start by getting our side angle pieces on and then we're gonna leave this till the end cause yeah, it's the end. painted uh, so I didn't think about this but we're done for the night because these things need about five to nine hours before I should start manhandling them according to that which um, I have to do the inside still I think I'm just gonna prime it and call it a day um, so this has roughly you know an hour left before I can get around to it but we're gonna let this sit and dry painting is all in the prep work and I prepped the fender is pretty well, I guess, because I am not gentle with these at all. I stand on them, put stuff metal on them, grind on them. Zero issues with paint flaking, so I'm optimistic this paint's going to hold up well. We're going to let this sit and dry, and I will see you, I guess, tomorrow. All right, they're painted. They look good up until it's stuck a little bit, but yeah, I think this is going to gonna look real nice. Yeah. 
Okay, so we do have our side skirts, strips, whatever you want to call them, our trim on on both sides. And now we have to put our back on. So the thing is up here, if you can see, we're going to have to notch it because obviously these come together a little bit. So we're going to have to just fill the void and then notch it around on both sides. So I'm going to do that with an angle grinder on both sides. And then we're going to just screw this in and hopefully it will look good. At 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind and 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day I'll be yours again. Something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed yeah. Is this really Top trim on, done and dusted Rear trim done We'll have to touch up paint up here because I got a little, a little rowdy with the angle grinder and then once this caulk dries I'm gonna come with a razor blade and just scoop it off but the back is done can't really tell on that one but it looks good it all looks good I had a head and a bolt break off right there so that's great but I'll deal with it later this side done and uh, honestly I really like the look uh, and then the fronts are done all we have left is these angles which i had to get both pieces done permanently before i got to this um just because i needed to make sure i got all my measurements right so those pieces are right there i'm gonna get to that right now so i'm gonna cut the 45 degree angle on one side and then measure for the other and hopefully i don't mess up because i don't think i have many more tries at it so let's get to it so what i've done here as I've cut a 45 degree angle on one end. I'm going to set it up here, just like this. And this gives me proof that it works. We do have this part that sticks up, but I can cut that off. I'll fix that in post. So now down here, I just have to get this angle and mark it, which my marker's over there, and then figure out the right cut on my thing just to make that cut. And then I can grind this down, grind it down when it sticks out over here, and we'll be hunky dory. Hopefully. Okay, the piece is cut. The GoPro died while recording me cutting it. So just imagine me going, yum, yum, and now we're here. So, we do have a good fit. Of course, it overshoots the top, and it overshoots the bottom here. So I'm going to mark that and then get it trimmed. All I have left to do for these pieces is to sand, prime, paint, wipe clean, something like that, in that order, somewhat. The other side's done, you can't really see it because it's sitting on the ground over there, but it's done as well. So let me get to drilling, grinding, cleaning, whole shebang. I have to trim these top pieces and this front piece so it's even, so I'm gonna mark that and cut it.
Well, they're painted. These are the last two pieces to this trailer build. It's been 92 days. It's been very hot. But I think I'm ready to put these on. I'm going to drill these holes, caulk it down the middle, and then it can go on, and the trailer can go outside for the first time completed ever. It's been outside before, but it's not been waterproof, and it rains, so let's get these on. And all the trim is officially done. I think it looks pretty good. I do think a tongue box may need to be in the future plans um, just to break up this white or a sick decal or something. But overall, this Stormtrooper look, I'm digging. But we got one more thing left to do for this episode. We have to peel all that. It's honestly impressive and very annoying how well this stuff is on. So now that everything is done with the trailer on the outside, what's left? Well, I do want to do a roof rack at some point. I think they're extremely useful and I can put a solar panel or anything basically. Um, so that's left to do on the outside. The front, we have room for a tongue box, we have room for a spare tire mount, we have room for a lot of stuff. So I don't know, There's that stuff's in the future, that's down the road. What we do have for sure is we have to do interior lighting because we don't have any of that. We have to wire up the fan. We have to fill the holes of the frame and the plugs, add a mattress, do the top cabinet for the front, and then maybe the kitchen in the back. And after that, the trailer will be done until I think of something else to do. But that's gonna end it for this episode, so I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.